the first step uh, when you start scouting for the fall armyworm, you must identify fresh egg masses in the field. Before you release any parasitoid, you must identify where you can find the host. If you don't find the host of the parasitoid, then it means that you're not going to establish the population. So the first step, you scout for the uh, host eggs in the field, but identify if the host eggs are fresh. If they are not, they are not fresh, then they're not going to be parasitized because the eggshell dries with time and it adds. So when we visited this field, as a farmer uh, introduced us to the field, first we did a scouting of the entire field and we came across fresh egg masses which were laid overnight. So this will be evident and they will support the, uh, the uh, um, establishment of the parasite in the field. So here is a host plant. We are going to release one card here with 10,000 uh, parasites. After they start emerging, the first uh, candidate to be rusted with the egg mass here. So this is the card. You can see the egg mass there which have been rusted in the lab. And this is the envelope. So this envelope is used to hold the card. Uh, it's waterproof. When it rains, the card will not be soaked. And it's also used to hold the, uh, the eggs on the plant. So this is a tag whereby you put the leaf and this is the card. The, these corners are used to remove water when it rains. So water can come from this side and sometimes we also use scissors to break at the middle so that what the card will not be soaked. You can see. So here I introduce my parasites in the card. As you can see, like that, and I transfer this card on the plant. Like that. So this card has information uh, on the side. This is a county where we are going to release. This is a sub county which is Teso North. This is a ward where the farm is. This is the species that we are releasing in this field. And these are the quantities and this is the date. So after every 12 to 14 days, we will continue monitoring if the emergence has taken place or not and support the population in the field. So when these parasites start emerging, they crawl on the plant looking for the egg masses. After they exhaust, there's no egg mass here, then they start flying, distributing across the field. The, you, find, you also, also have to study the wind patterns before you release, because when the parasites uh, emerge and start flying, they are blown by the wind. So this will aid them to spread across the near fields. These are ideal fields because we have young crops upcoming, uh, farmers are planting, so in the near future, the next two, three weeks, even the farmers next will benefit from this parasite. So this is almost late second going to that. These sometimes they are parasitized by other existing parasites like charops or cochidium litter. Here you can see this is charops atta. This is a cocoon. It parasitized the larvae and now it has formed in the larvae. So it means this area has abundance of charops atta, which is a larval parasitoid. This is a plus for the farmer because if it sprayed, this will not be there. So this is also a natural enemy for fall animal. Insects do not have impact results on the field. The results appear progressively. After one week or two weeks, when the parasites have emerged, they will spread in the field and identify any fresh egg masses. So the farmer will, should not expect after a week or two, you are going to see clean males. This is not going to happen. But after three or four weeks, you see a change of the fresh infestation. The old infestation will still continue because those are larvae state. But we are dealing with the egg state. So the eggs which are going to be laid fresh from now on, that's what's going to be controlled, not the old infestation. So the 
control will progressively start appearing after one or two weeks old. So the farmer should not be discouraged to start spraying, thinking that the grass will not work. It will take time. After, after some time now, you will see the impact after three or four weeks. Away. So, madam, thank you for hosting us. Thank you for providing the field for us. So, we we'll use this as study field and we also benefit from the natural Thank you so much.